As waves from a swell approach a shoreline, their lower ends begin to feel the sea bottom. Wave trains become sets, groups of waves that are larger and longer interval than their more locally generated cousins. The approaching waves refract, bend in response to the shape of the sea bottom. The visible part of the wave grows, its orbiting energy pushed higher above the surface. The resistance offered by the sea bottom increases as the water gets shallower, slowing the progress of the lowest part of the wave. The wave above the surface steepens. Finally, it becomes unstable and prepares to topple forward, to break. The rule of thumb is that it will break when the wave height reaches 80% of the water's depth. An eight-foot wave will break in 10 feet of water, but many factors, some of them endlessly subtle, wind, bottom, contour, swell, angle, currents, determine exactly where and how each wave breaks. As surfers, we're just hoping that it has a catchable moment, a takeoff point, and a rideable face, and that it doesn't break all at once, a closeout, but instead breaks gradually, successively, peels in one direction or the other, left or right, allowing us to travel roughly parallel to the shore, riding the face for a while in that spot, in that moment, just before it breaks.